Hello everyone, hello and welcome on my channel. I am Anna and today I'm bringing you The Sims 2 Pleasant View Stories. It's a new series I would like to start on my channel just because I'm a huge fan of The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 of course well but today I thought why not to try to do The Sims 2 series. And of course I thought to do it in a pleasant view just because I believe this neighborhood honestly offers a lot of possibilities and a lot of fun to the game playing simply because there's so many families that can take you on an endless joyride. For hours and hours you can play and have a lot of fun with it. So here we are in the Sims 2 Pleasant View and this is where the Pleasant View stories will take place of course as I was saying before. So in today's intro I would like just to give you a short recap of everything that I already did and as you can see I already positioned uh, quite a few houses all around the, the town just to have an opportunity to bring the Sims families not to create probably the new families but mostly just to play with what we have the descendant of the existing families and of course to bring them in some other houses and places I do have as you can see right here some apartments as well because I have the Sims 2 ultimate collection so it also came up with the apartment life so this is what I'm doing just for some Sims who would like maybe to live in the apartment to share the apartment stories and some of them who would like to live in the houses I did position some extra houses around if you can see and I did position every single family which I had even in the family bin already on the lots so let's start first of all if you remember, whenever you start The Sims 2 gameplay, you will find six families on the lots ready to play, plus two additional families on the family bin. I don't have any family bins, I don't have any families in the family bins, just because I already placed them all. So here you go. I'm planning to play each family for four Sim days, and I believe this might give us a very good intro to the families and also to see what they up to and how to develop the gameplay. The first family I would like to play would be probably Lothario and if you remember usually Don Lothario starts as a single sim who has too little time and too many ladies in his life. For my gameplay I already placed him with Cassandra Goth and they actually got married simply because I believe Don at a certain point of his life he would like to have kind of a, a marriage of convenience so he doesn't have to fight and struggle for the money to pay the bills and also because Cassandra is also good looking so why not, why not to give it a try. And as you remember, Don is also in the medical career, so I do believe that he will continue to do this romance around the hospital as well and around the neighborhood, but maybe at a certain point he might tone it down just a little bit, just not to hurt Cassandra's feelings, or if he decides to go honestly into it and give it all into the romance, then I guess Cassandra will have to leave him or maybe she will kick him out of the house and we shall see where this can take us. So if you think Don should continue with romance or maybe just to tone it down for just a teeny mini bit, just let me know in the comments, alright? And we will sh share all the ideas and like gameplay options all online. The next family will be the Caliente and usually Caliente household comes with two sisters. It's Dina and Nina. For my gameplay I believe Dina already played her, her cards very good and she was a very smart girl to be with uh, Mortimer Goth and to move into his household and his mansion. And the reasons for that I will explain later on when we can do the review of the Goth household. Leaving this big house for Nina. So now with the bills coming Nina will have to step up and to think what she wants to do with her life 
and usually I do like to make Nina kind of like a power woman around the town because I would like her to have a very successful career even though she's into the romantic relationships with most of the guys around the neighborhood but I do believe she can be a very strong character for all the young ladies around the neighborhood. So that is one of the lines I'm thinking to use for her. Another line could be also maybe she decides to get married and just to be like her sister, kind of a nice bird in the house with the bills paid and the beautiful house, the parties and everything. We shall see. The next family will be all these. And if you remember, all these are also the family and the parents to Mary Sue Pleasant. And they've been so nice and long, long, long term relationships, very loyal to each other. But I do believe since Herb here, he is actually a romancing. So I do believe he should have some romance at least before the end of his life. And this romance might actually manifest in kind of a maybe a out of wed child, I don't know, wedlock child, and maybe into some other drama around the town. Then I'm planning to move to the Broke family, and there's so much iconic there. One of my families, I do love this family, they're one of my favorite family about the Pleasant View. So one reason why I like it because Brandy of course is a single mother and that's the reference that we can do a lot in our lives nowadays and if you remember she also already pregnant with the third child from her late husband and I do believe that there's a lot of drama that can be in this family and I do think that maybe her husband died just because maybe he was involved with Nina Caliente or Dina or some of the other girls around the town and that's why his uh, elder son Dustin might, you know, put a hand to that letter in the pool, the little pool they have in the backyard and maybe that's how actually Skip died so now kind of Dustin is a bad boy because he has the pricks of conscience maybe I don't know we can do a lot of things with this family including Brandy maybe to get remarried and to have other kids and other family and to see what we can do with these boys the three boys that she's supposed to have well who knows it's like really it's unlimited options unlimited options for these families the next family I will play probably going to be the burp and the burp yeah I know the John, Jennifer and young Lucy they probably the most annoying and boring family to play on but I do believe they do have a potential simply because John is a family sim and of course he wants to have a family he also wants to have this big garden in the backyard as his father used to have and Jennifer she is the fortune sim so of course she would like to have the money she would like to have a very good job and maybe that's gonna be a bit of the drama and discussion in their family simply because John doesn't care really for the fortune he doesn't care really for the furniture and everything the bills so you know the kids do cost money so maybe that will bring them up to the verge of divorce or maybe just some extra drama and extra fighting in the family or they can be just very good ones and get everybody a very good end and happy end but for sure they will have probably another child or maybe even two and with Jennifer staying off the job maybe John will have to stand up and go actually for the job looking for the job and also to have a nice career but we shall see where it's going to take us next one off we go probably is going to be the dreamer and the dreamers yeah they just uh, Darren and his son Dirk who is quite good at school but he's dating kind of like a bad girl from the Pleasant family and what I do think for them is probably they will stand, step up a little bit for the game and he will have some good influence on Lilith. 
while Darren though he does want to paint and he does want to make money with the painting after his late wife died I do believe he will find a job and he might actually remarry and have another family but I do need to find a perfect suitable girl for him and definitely he will be a bit heartbroken just because Cassandra got married and his affections for Cassandra haven't changed but you know she's not in his life anymore she's not there so maybe there's going to be a little bit of tenseness between them and maybe between also Dawn simply because he took Cassandra away from Darren. Next ones are going to be Pleasant Family, which are pleasant on the outside but not so pleasant on the inside. And I do believe there's going to be some drama happening simply because Daniel and Mary Sue, they kind of like grew apart over the years because Daniel is a romance scene, of course, yes. And he was taking a bit of his career to have the fame and to have the ladies around the town while Mary Sue was a bit busy with her career. And maybe this is also was the reason why the twins fell apart because I do believe Lilith has a very big potential for the life and she would like to become a better person and to have a better life and opportunities in life, of course, a better house, maybe to create her own home with a loving family of her own, while Angela will be doing everything possible to push Lilith outside the house and off the lot just because I think she's spoiled enough by her parents to wish for this house and the law to be hers and for her future family because it's a big house, it's a family house, it also costs a lot of money so if she would like ever to sell it she's gonna have a fortune out of it so of course she will be convincing her parents that she needs to have this house absolutely she because she's the best while Lilith needs to leave and not to come back so this is one of the options I'm thinking for this family as the gameplay proceeds and the last one, but one of the best, is of course the goth family. And as I was saying, Dina here, she's already here and she finally hit it big. Because I do believe Dina is a fortune sim. She would love, love to have money, big mansion and to have it all, to enjoy the life. So for this reason she convinced Mortimer to marry her and not vice versa. And that is how she got into the house. And now for sure she will do everything possible to make sure that she has at least one or two babies before Martina dies to ensure her place in the bank account and also this house which belongs to the Goth family. And I do believe that Mortimer will be also smart just before he dies to think of his last will to make sure that his kids Alexander and Cassandra will get a bit of the money after he dies and plus in any case if something happens to any of them in their households in their families when they grow up and they will need somewhere to stay or they will need the extra money Dina will have to provide that stay to buy the house or to give the money if they request it so I guess Dina still got the best options even though Mortimer would like to make sure that she will take care of his kids from Bella's side but still I do believe Dina was very very smart girl to play her cards very nicely around the neighborhood and she's very very filthy rich sim around the block and this is basically how I positioned my households this is how I would like to proceed with the families and this is how we might go with the gameplay. So this is it for the very first intro episode and if you did enjoy it please subscribe and please leave your comments down below for the Pleasant View stories and your ideas, share how you play The Sims 2 and how you prefer to position the families, what drama you like to create around the town 
and if you want some more episodes please let me know and follow me so we can always go for the new episodes and meet some other times each week probably i do hope i will do the episodes each week or maybe twice a week i'll be able to load the episodes and we just go with the families and we're gonna find some nice common ideas and common values for the sims 2 gameplays and share our experience how we played it before how we play it now if the gameplay changed and what we plan to do with the families and with the storylines thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave your comments down below thank you and bye bye